hello everyone so in last class we have discussed about the transmission tower how to make a model so in continuation with that uh, today i'll be discussing about how to make a wind load analysis and how to calculate the wind load for this transmission towers so in order to know that we are aware about that is 875 part 3 2015 code book is used for wind load analysis and over here what we want to know is all about uh, how to calculate so how to calculate the wind load according to the formulas so first of all we need to know about some basic uh, a part of uh, wind load analysis that is the factors coefficient factors so risk coefficient factors k1 it is required for us to be known so that should be calculated with respect to basic wind speed so whatever the basic wind speed you are going to consider and what are the towers uh, types of buildings that you are going to take so if you look at here in this code so in table 1 they have clearly given you the different types of building and what is the lifespan of the building and according to the basic wind speed we need to select the k1 so if you talk about uh, towers especially like communication towers or a uh, uh, power plants so it's focused for uh, a probable design life of 100 years so i'm going to take around 44 meter per second as a basic wind speed so k1 will be 1.07 right so next part which you want to know is all about k2 factor so terrain coefficients so how to find out terrain coefficients so when you have a, a category 1 category 2 category 3 4 categories of terrains according to your building location on which category it is so we need to preferable to take this k2 and also with respect to height so different height is given so we generally take a wind speed after 10 meter so the code says that we need to consider the wind speed after 10 meter height so here in table 2 so they are given clearly from 10 meter height and depending on your category 1 2 3 so we need to pick your respective value so if your building is in between 25 or 35 then you need to interpolate and you need to get the values for respective categories next you should know about the uh, topography factor so that is k3 so here the topography factor is calculated based on the uh, slope value between uh, 0 to, uh, 3 3 degree to 17 degree so how to calculate this value so here it is very clearly given in the actual part c so depending on the uh, elevation height we need to calculate so in this current part i am going to take it as a maximum value 1.36 i am going to take it for tower analysis and the next k4 so we need to know about the k4 so k4 is basically used for cyclone part so when you calculate for a cyclones we need to take k4 so again here it is clearly given communication tower or any kind of hospital building so it should be taken as 1.30 so i hope now you are clear with uh, k1 you are clear with k2 you are clear with k3 and you are clear about k4 so all these are available in page number 7 to 9 is 875 part 3 wind load analysis okay further what we want to know so as i said earlier the terrain categories so what is the terrain category 1 2 3 so one category basically go for no obstructions without any open ground so it's an open terrain so no obstructions are found in that place so it can be a flat terrain portions so category 2 it's like kind of uh, uh, obstructions having generally between 1.5 meter to 10 meter height if you have any kind of obstructions so this case we take it as a category 2 so a small kind of open park land or undeveloped areas so all this will be considered as a category 2 next we also have category 3 so category 3 is generally obstruction above height is more than 10.5 meter or uh, isolated tall structures so such a kind of uh, buildings we need to take category 3 similarly we also have category 4 where we have highly closed space obstructions so very closed space of obstructions we have so those categories is called as category 4 so for this current numerical i'm going to take category 1 and then we need to know about uh, an actual a what is an actual a is all about the basic wind speed so it mentions the uh, basic wind speed with respect to city and town so whatever the city you are going to select for example you are going to select agra so what is the basic wind speed that is going to be 47 meter per second so similarly if you're talking about uh, ludhiana so for ludhiana circle the basic wind speed is going to be 47 meter per second right next what you want to know so we want to know about the calculations how it, the calculation is going to work 
so we want to calculate the wind speed design wind speed vz so we need to calculate design wind speed vz so how it is going to work so it's going to work with a basic wind speed that is vb k1 k2 k3 k4 so we need to calculate all this value and multiply with basic wind speed so that way we get your design wind speed further that we want to calculate the pressure so what is going to be wind pressure which is going to act with respect to height so that's we need to calculate by pz formula so pz is equal to 0.6 vz whole square so this is a weight we need so height with respect to height what pressure is going to act in my building so right so this is how we are going to do it now let's look at the numerical so this is a sample tower i have taken so i have already modeled this tower for 35 meter part i am taking a height from the central base so from the center point so from the center to the top crown i am measuring the total height as 35 meter so if i calculate the values of k1 so i am going to take it as 1.70 as i earlier discussed with respect to the code book value i am going to take 1.07 for transmission tower and k3 i am going to take the maximum that is 1.36 i am going to consider it and k4 for cyclonic zone especially for uh, towers so 1.30 so for this numerical i am going to take an uh, example of basic wind speed of 44 meter per second so now what is the unknown so k2 is unknown so k2 should be determined with respect to each height so we find uh, category 1 so i am taking category 1 so if you are taking category 1 so k2 should be determined with respect to height so we have total height of 35 meter so i need to calculate up to 35 meter but if you look into the code as i already said in the code book so we don't have up to 35 meters so we need to interpolate the values so if we look at in the table 2 k2 so we don't have any 35 here and we need to find out to interpolations so we need to find out interpolations between uh, 25 and 35 so like this we need to calculate it so i have calculated by using interpolations so after calculating the interpolations, we come to know what is a each K2 value. So for 10 meter, it is going to be 1.05, 15, it is 1.09, for 20, it is 1.12, and 25, it is 1.13, and 30, it is going to be 1.15, and for 35, it is going to be 1.16. So when you put it in the formulas, so when you put it in the formula, that is Vz. So Vz is equal to Vb, K1, K2 k3 and k4 so we get this values so we'll be getting 81.681 84 87 87 89 and 90 we are going to get these values so now this vz is going to be converted into part of pressure so we need to calculate the pressure so what is pz formula so pz is going to be 0.6 times vz whole square substitute this you will get this in kilonewton Oh, sorry newton per meter mm square so convert this into uh, sorry uh, convert this into kilonewton per meter square convert that into kilonewton per meter square so what we are going to get so this is in newton per meter square so we want to convert this into kilonewton per meter square so divide by 1000 so we get 4.0 4.31 4.55 4.6 4.8 .5, and 4.8 so this is going to be the value which you want to take right so how to apply these values so let's go to the uh, stat pro so when you go to the stat pro as a model is already done so we start with the directly with the load case so we go to load case we open the load case and we define wind load so let me delete it so i'll show you the sample again so when you add the wind loads it's going to be like this so let me delete okay. right so i'm going to start from the beginning so go for load case detail definitions and definition is wind definition wind definitions open you can give wind one and then click type one add now you need to enter that values right so you need to enter that values what is the intensity and what is the height with respect to it so i am taking help of excel so in excel i already calculated this value so i am going to take the pressure what is the pressure is going to be acting so after calculating the pressure put it with respect to pressure then we also want to know the height so go to the height so we're going to take with respect to height 10 to 35 meter 
okay you want to enter manually you can do it manually so i'm taking excel help i'm putting in the calculation and just entering the values now after calculating the with respect to height what is the intensity click add and the exposure factor is going to be one so add the exposure factor apply this exposure factor to the view click ok now the next what we want to do go to load case detail add the load case wind load so you can give some wind x direction positive wind x direction negative okay so next i'm going to take wind z direction so i'm going to take z direction positive and similarly wind z direction negative right and then i'm going to add one more load case that is sulfate so you can add a sulfate of this part so that is going to be dead load add that too now once you're done go for wind load positive add the wind load values so go to wind load x direction so external pressure is acting factor one so starting from my factor its uh, minimum is 10 maximum is 35 add this so once you add this you can see the effect after close it just you can see the effect where the wind load is acting at this particular point similarly for positive negative direction so we are going to add for negative direction so go for wind add the minus factor on the other side the so same 10 and this is going to be 35 so if you add this so click add so you can see on other side okay so next part which you want to know is all about z direction so go to z z external pressure is going to act again 10 to 35 add it so on other side similarly the last one external 10 to 35 now right so we have added the external loads on each cases so sorry this is going to be minus okay right so this way we add it so in certain case we can take this uh, part so all four cases we are considering positive direction negative direction and negative z and negative or positive z then you can add the dead loads add the dead load so if you know some specific weight so you are going to know some specific weight, you can assign this to it and if you know some specific weight is going to act at this nodal point so at this particular node you know what is the load is going to act some springs or any kind of wires or anything you are going to add it so we can add that specific load under dead load as a nodal load so go for nodal click at what node you what force is going to act so let's take some uh, 1.2 kilonewton is going to act so i'm just going to take this load add it so we got this point select the node cursor so at which point you need to add so all this node if you want to add all these four nodes some 1.2 kilonewton is going to act so we can add it so you can increase the scale value label value go to scales apply immediately you can decrease the point force so that you can see this point force so i guess uh, i added for all the points okay right so let's delete it okay so this way we need to apply so let me do it again it has added for all go for node minus 1.2 add it select the node assign to selected node sorry i did that as a view right so now you can see this force acting on this part right so i hope you understand how to add a wind load and how to add the dead loads for a particular structure in transmission tower thank you